get ready for it now with the tail of the tape brought to you by Zebra, simply the best. Older fighter is Gracie. Both guys are at 6'4", two big men. Gracie about a three pound edge in height. The reach is right about there. Gracie is the ground guy. Maimon likes to knock people out. As Boss said, it is the perfect MMA setup. You've got the contrast of styles, which is how MMA really was born and blossomed. Can the wrestler beat the puncher? And that's what it's always been about. Let's meet him officially. All right, Atlantic City, we're back live at the Rebel Casino Hotel. Your next fight is brought to you by Hit Supplements. Hit Harder. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the World Series of Fighting Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, 15 wins, five defeat, and 12 of those wins come by way of knockout. He stands six feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 246 and three-quarter pounds. He fights out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, introducing Derek Caveman. And now his opponent stands across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His impressive professional record, eight wins versus one defeat, and all eight victories come by way of submission. He too stands at six feet, four inches tall, he weighed in at 249 and one quarter pounds. He fights out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting Hollis Gracie. When the action begins, your referee is Bill Bookwalter. There's Maimon, there's Gracie. Contrast of styles, two big men, heavyweights. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Right, you ready? Okay. Yeah, you ready? Can Maimon keep Fight. it on the feet? He's got solid wrestling skills. And he's gonna need it. Maimon's won three straight. He's in the white. Gracie's won five straight. He in the black. Feeling out process has started. Nice there, front kick by Gracie. That's a smart thing to do, keep him away. Oh, nice body shot. I like that most of the time. That will be a setup because you're gonna do it again and add a left two to the head. Great yeah, guy would do. Give him a few body shots, let him get used to it, and then boom. That's fighting, I always say. You want to create a pattern? Gotta watch out though, because they're, they're not gonna counter your pattern. And then you break that pattern. Let him get used to a certain move, and suddenly you add something to that move. Most of the time, that's enough. Gracie throwing a couple of jabs early, and then that swift kick. One minute into the fight, Gracie's still on his feet. And that right low kick looked good. It looked good. Corner for Maimon tells him to start pushing. But Gracie's doing a good job trying to push him because it's hard when you move backwards to strike. Maybe a little surprising. Gracie's willing to stand up right now, throw a few jabs, throw a kick in there. That's it. Get him out of his game because he the only thing Maimon is thinking about is watch your takedown, watch your takedown, watch your takedown the whole time. And that's what he's now breaking. He's breaking that spell, start striking. And then once he lets him get used to the striking, that's when he's probably going to go for a takedown. Gracie's got an effective jab. He does really good and a nice counter left hook there as well. So at the moment, Hollis Gracie, the ground specialist, has chosen to box with the boxer Maimon. And I like this. He's going left hook, right body, left hook. I love it. That's a combination I told Dwayne Ludwig in the, in the dressing room before he knocked out Jens Bolver. And he knocked him out with that. First guy to knock out Jens. Nice. Ooh, he's got a stiff jab That was also. a straight jab right there by Gracie that's getting in and keeping Maimon off his game a bit right now. He's using his reach, he's using his long reach, and he's doing it great. You see, Maimon every time wants to open up with the left hook, it's kind of dangerous. You have to watch out for it, it can be countered. You want to do a cross hook or a one two hook. Yeah. 
Very nice distance here from Gracie. Just stays outside the reach. Very impressive, actually. I didn't expect this. And he has Maimon stretching to try to make contact. And once he starts committing or he connects once, expect a takedown. There's a kick by Maimon. One of the few strikes he's been able to get in. One minute, 45 seconds. Can he get a takedown? Or maybe he doesn't do a takedown at all the first round. Just let him get used to the striking. And again, that was a nice left by Gracie well, as Maimon steps in. Yeah. He's doing a really great job. Moving to the side, circling. Also very nice. I think he connected with that right. I couldn't see it from this angle here. Gracie doing a good job of moving, using angles on Maimon right here, and Boss. The over-under is shattered on when Hollis Gracie would take this to the fight. It was probably around 45 seconds into the fight. I, I, I can tell you he's out striking his opponent right now. If you'd never seen these two guys fight before, you would guess that Gracie has a solid boxing background. Very nice also how he moves. That's Look at that kick. kick. That kick stung to the side. And, of Maimon. And again, he moves backwards to the side. It's, uh, his footwork is great. Never lets himself get locked up, you see. Light on his feet for a heavyweight. I mean, what was it, 249? And he moves really well. Here we go. Oh. Hollis Gracie, the submission specialist with the boxing game. You know what? Second round of the World Series of Fighting Five, getting ready, heavyweights here. That's Hollis Gracie, known for his great ground game, but making it a stand-up fight against a stand-up fighter in David Maimon, and taking Maimon totally out of his game with the element of surprise and very good skill in that first round, Boss Rutten. Yes, he did, you know, and at the end, and I don't know why he went for that takedown, because he was never gonna finish it, he had no time, but then I started thinking, wait a minute, He's getting in his head. Maybe he's going to fake a takedown now, and he's going to come over the top with a right or a left hook. And then let it, when, when he fakes a takedown, of course, his opponent has to. You force your opponent to put his arms down to protect himself from the takedown. That could be his game plan. I like that combination. Right body, left hook is what I call it. From Maven. Oh, jab left hook. I mean, uh, that's some great stuff that Grace is throwing here also. Well, Grace is just doing some basic boxing here, which he just doesn't do. He had won all eight of his fights by way of submission. So he, he knew eventually that he was going to face a great uh, wrestler. So I think maybe during those eight fights, he just simply never showed anybody. And he started developing his striking skills. And Hollis is a, you know, is a kind of a renaissance man. He does several other things. He likes to go out and enjoy life. And he's not, he, he teaches some. He's not committed to fighting all the time. This is only his 10th pro fight for the 35 year old. So maybe he's just been working on boxing and as part of a, a new hobby or something for him, boss. It's a different and an impressive fighter right now. It's, you know, it's like I said, I, I, I think he's been doing it the whole time. It just didn't show to people. And now, when he really needs to, he can finally show. Yes, it isn't like he has never thrown a punch until no, tonight. No, it's, it's too good. This what he's doing now. Look at that jab left hook right straight. I mean, that's a good combination to throw. That's not something you come up with in the last three months. And it has puzzled Maimon tonight. Maimon, a man who has 10 wins by way of knockout. Maimon can't find him. He, he swings and misses as Grace is able to elude the punches once again. Arlovsky and Kyle heavyweights in the main event. These heavyweights putting on an interesting show here in the second round. 
Yeah. You know, Maimon's also having trouble with his hair. You notice how he keeps pulling it back out of his eyes. Yeah, it looks like you ran a favor in the past. But then you start braiding it. And seriously, when those jabs are coming in, that could, you got to time that if you're pulling your hair back and you're eating a jab at the same time. Oh, oh, got him. A big right. Maimon timed oh, it. The and money. Maimon has decked him. Whoa. Out of nowhere, a big, long right hand on the tip of the jaw. Gave it a little wet flash, <laughs> and boom. Derek Maimon had been waiting and waiting and hadn't been able to connect, and boy, did he ever connect. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> now that was a power punch and a solid cold knockout of Hollis Gracie. You know, he moved backwards, relaxed. I go back to Anderson Silva, it's the same thing. He started moving backwards. You can't flex your neck muscles anymore, and then you're gonna get hit at the wrong moment. I would love to see that replay. Hey, the better striker is Maven coming go. in, but Hollis Gracie taking him off his game, and yep. there he catches him right on the chin with the right, and that's it. You know, and it's like I said, he was moving backwards. Look, he moves backwards, the jaw is relaxed, and now it goes to punk. That's it. It doesn't need more. Some people go, is that the punch? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the punch. Oh, that was the punch. Wow. Right on the chin. Derek Maimon had some trouble early on. Maybe he was thrown off the game a little bit by Gracie, but when he timed his punch, as he pulled his hair back up from his eyes, he nailed it. He needed to find his range. And, and, and in round one, Gracie was really good at using his jab, keeping him at bay, using his reach. But you know, slowly but surely, you saw maybe getting closer and closer and closer. And once he found his reach, well, that, that was all she wrote. Good to see Hollis Gracie up. Maimon has now won four in a row, 11 of his 16 victories, coming by way of knockout. And this was one of his most impressive KOs. When we come back, we'll hear from Derek Maimon. The big KO victory tonight over Hollis Gracie. Heavyweight action at its best right now. The World Series of Fighting continues. The knockout of the night, Derek Maimon, knocking out Hollis Gracie with a big right. As we take a look at our boost highlights. And it was Gracie controlling the tempo of this fight with a stand-up game that caught us all by surprise. Yeah, that's what he did. You know, I was just gonna say before it happened, he should have started throwing more uppercuts. I think that would have been a great weapon for him. But it's too late. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over at two minutes and 40 seconds of the second round. Your winner by knockout, Derek Caveman Maven. Love you guys. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.